Okay, for this project you're going to need a clipboard. So here's a board, here's a clip. To use this clip, if it's like this, you just put this one to this side and this to the other side. You pinch it and you've got a clip. You can take your piece of paper and you can clip it right there like that. Also then that way you can move it around, that way you don't have a big white piece of, pa um, piece of your paper showing because the clip was in the way. All right, we're going to be drawing a landscape from life. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually go outside and sit on the hill next to the playground and you're going to look at the trees and we're going to draw the trees and then we're going to draw the sky. Now the trees are going to be done in an impressionist style like Van Gogh and then the sky is going to be done in a very um, almost abstract manner like Van Gogh's Starry Night. Now the trees are changing colors right now so we can use the greens. You can use red, red orange, orange, yellow orange, yellow. You can use blue to darken your green. Um, you can use purple to darken your yellows if you need to. So a lot of your colors are open. You can use white to lighten things. I'm going to go ahead and start off with a base for my trees. Just sort of shaping the outline of where the trees are. And this tree kind of comes up like this. And then this one comes up like that. And then we've got a lot of yellow in this area. So I'm just using the side of my oil pastel here. Just to sort of outline the trees here. I'm going to bring it all the way down. I'm not coloring too hard. I don't see there's a lot of orange right in this area. And there's a lot of yellow in this area. And then there's some brown. So the leaves are already turned brown in here. I'm going to take my smudge stick. I'm going to smudgy it all together. It's going to give me a nice base. Now don't smudge too hard or else you'll start to almost kind of erase and you'll start to damage that paper. Okay, now that doesn't really look much like trees. So what I'm going to start to do now is to use those short little lines like Van Gogh would use. And especially if they sort of follow a direction, it's going to give it um, the impression that it's blowing in the wind. And I've already said that there's a lot of the brown leaves here. And I can also give it lines that are more curled or curved. And then this is more of a vibrant orange down here, almost a red orange. When I use my smudging stick now, I'm smudging it very lightly and then it's sort of the same direction using these curved, um, almost like brush strokes. I want to show some of the branches sticking through. So I use some jaggedy lines there. show that there's a shadow here, so I'm going to add a little bit of blue, because blue and yellow make green, so blue can be used to show a darker green, and if I want an even darker one, even darker than that, I'll use a little bit of red, because red is the opposite of green, and so that will neutralize it, that will darken it. So that would show a really deep shadow here by mixing the red and the green together. Go back and put some line work in there. There are a lot of tree branches showing in this one. I'm just using the tip of my oil pastel here and making some branch lines.
And then I want to go over it again, put some of the leaves on top of that branch. Now, I'm working very quickly, or I should say very expressively, but not sloppy. This isn't going to be a sloppy thing, and this will take you the whole hour to work on this if you do it right. Okay, then you're ready for the sky. So we're going to make kind of like a starry night sky, only it's going to be during the day. So you might want to move your clip down here so it doesn't get in your way. So I'm not going to need red. I will need a little maybe purple and some white and some blues. won't need any greens. show a windy day. Now most of my leaves kind of look like they're going this way, so my wind is also going to look like it's going that way. And you're just going to make lines, just a few lines. You can have your clouds come in. You won't see the clouds yet, but you will in a bit. Sometimes the white will mix or blend the other colors together. I'm going to push down kind of hard for this. I'm going to use more of the light blue than the dark blue. All right. Then you can bring it inside and next week we're going to paint it. Let me show you what we're going to do next week. Next week you're going to get this blue water paint. And this is watercolor paint that's already been diluted for you. And you're going to paint right over it. And the oil pastel is going to resist and you can paint over your trees too. So anywhere that you left some white, it's still going to look like the sky got through. And then you can get a tissue and just tap away all of those beads of water there.